Hey everybody, this is Brad, HMS 776 from the forums, and this is my VIC circuit replication on multi-SIM. I've had this replication working for about a year, probably over a year now, and I posted it on the RWG forums, but their forums changed, so a lot of things got erased, including this. So I figured I'd put it here on YouTube and a lot more people would be able to benefit from it. Uh, I have to stress, first of all, that this circuit um, represents an ideal situation, meaning that there's no leakage inductance for the transformer or coil capacitance, and there's also no coil capacitance for the choke. Uh, having an adjustable capacitor here to represent the water fuel cell, also your potentiometer here represents the conductivity of the water. And you have your two frequency generators which are adjustable. You can change the voltage here. You can take measurements of the current and the waveforms. Uh, before we get too into this though, I want to show you... Uh, here is a diagram from the technical brief. Stenmeyer shows the less conductive the water is, the more the energy output is, or the more gas is produced. And here, distilled water is much less conductive than ocean water. So, Stan also claims that the higher the voltage, um, the more gas is produced. So, what we're likely seeing here is that the less conductive the water is, the higher the voltage will be for a given amount of power, the more gas it'll produce. So if we go back to our simulation circuit, we can test that in theory, really, because uh, this is not a real world. But we'll press play. We'll see our waveforms are peaking now. And you see. Now, if we adjust this to represent a lower, uh, lower conductivity, or a higher conductivity, sorry, of the water, say maybe this would represent salt water, ocean water here. We're getting hardly any voltage at all built up. Now, as the water conductivity decreases the more pure the water, the higher the voltage is of the cell. And we can see that, obviously. Once again, if the water is purely conductive, you won't build anything up at all. It will stay at zero volts. But you also need to notice here, this is one mega ohm. So, if we do say 10% of one mega ohm, this is 100 kilo ohms, and all we're getting is 40 volts of the cell. Now, in my own cell, I've tested it and taken measurements using several different methods. I've determined the impedance between the electrodes is about 150 ohms. So you need a high current density uh, pulse to get that cell to charge just as this shows as well. So this would be, I don't know if there's any water that would have a uh, 1 mega ohm impedance across the 1 8 inch gap between the electrodes. But nevertheless it just shows that the more pure the water is the higher the voltage will be of the cell. Um, another thing we can do here, I mean you can't really take current measurements with an oscilloscope, but we're going to do it anyways, even though it's not really accurate um, what current would look like. But it shows that as your voltage increases at the capacitor, the current decreases. See that? So there's another thing that uh, Stan's talked about. People who know electronics already know as you charge a capacitor that current decreases in the circuit. But we can also uh, measure the current going through the circuit which in this case is extremely small uh, 
not like in the real world at all. Um, this is probably the version 10 of this circuit that I've designed and finally gotten to work. In the other versions, I accounted for um, the parasitic elements. Um, I had a capacitor across my coil here to represent the coil capacitance. And an interesting thing, maybe I'll have to show it later on, when I did that I got an AC waveform across my capacitor. So many people say, you can't get AC because of the diode. Well, if your AC generator is right here, which is what that coil will become if your capacitance is too high and you're under damped, you'll get AC across that. And uh, some people have seen that in their own replications. Um, but you can do a lot with this. Um, it would be a good tool to learn from. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any questions, just get back to me. Oh, and I don't have a file for this to download anyways, um, anywhere. I figured people can just copy it off of here. So, good luck.